Jeez. I've tried to do this portal reading twice. Okay, they're playing around on my phone. My bad, y'all. My name is Delilah. Welcome to Star Seed Direct. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge, baby. Now, this is going to be tapping into the star sign. Let's see, who we haven't done already. Of Taurus. Yeah. Let's see what happened with the bulls, shall we? Taurus. You're getting... I want to take care of you. I want to take care of you. Someone may want to take care of you, or this is your energy towards someone else. You're fearing... You're feeling... Fearing, okay? You're fearing that you may be getting rejected by someone, okay? You refuse to share this person, okay? You're very possessive over this person, okay? Or this person may be possessive over you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, Taurus, all right? You may be praying for a breakthrough, okay? Okay. Hmm. You also have mommy daddy issues coming out. Okay. Something along the lines of not wanting to repeat history. Okay. Wow. Taurus, you're also getting your karmic ex put a hit out on you. Your karmic ex put a hit out on you. That could be a physical hit, that could be a spiritual hit. Taurus, okay? Mm. <laughs> you may be feeling betrayed, okay, by someone. Whether this is past, present, or future, Taurus. Could be an air sign. Mm. Could be a water sign or someone who has a water trine in their chart. If you don't know your natal chart, you can look it up on my blog at starseedirect.com. Mm. The truth is, Taurus, whoever this energy is, you never got over them, okay? There's still some unresolved feelings there, Taurus, in regards to this person. Mm. All right, you also got baby coming out. Just take the the key codes that work for you, okay? A wish is coming true, Taurus, okay? I don't know if it's for you or for someone else. Hmm. This may have something to do with court. <laughs> mm. All right, so keep in mind this is Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, seventh, third, or eleventh house. If you have Taurus placements anywhere in your chart, this may also resonate with you, okay? Now, for some reason, Taurus, I'm getting mixed emotions, okay? Part of you doesn't want to beat a dead horse. Another part of you feels some type of way, okay? But I'm getting, there's two sides to this. It could be your energy or it could be the cross watcher, okay? So don't get offended. But somebody here is lying, all right? Or someone could be a straight-up fucking hater, Taurus, all right? Like, straight like that. This person claims that they want to take care of you, right? But at the same time, there's some unresolved generational issues here, okay? This person could have unresolved issues with their parents or their upbringing, which is causing, excuse me, current problems, okay? I'm hearing a hiccup in the plan, absolutely. 
you may be finding out that um, rekindling something with your ex actually ended up being a setup on some kind of level, okay? This person ended up portraying you to save their own ass. This could have something to do with the court situation. Possibly over a baby. Whoever this ex is, they view you as toxic, Taurus, okay? Or maybe you view this ex as toxic, okay? It could be a water sign or it could have, they could have water in their chart. Mm. They may be communicating with you, Taurus, in regards to possibly rekindling something. But, um... The real reason why they stay away, Taurus, is because they have an STD, okay? I would be wary of that. All right? You also have the NSA card coming out, so they could have authorities watching them. I'm also getting any past communication that you have with this person is also sitting on a database somewhere. So, you know, I don't know if you're hiding something or maybe... They're hiding something, or maybe both of their, uh, both of you are hiding something in regards to the past. It's going to resurface, possibly in a court proceeding. Remember I said that. Atlanta may be significant. Taurus, it's not love. It's the pills lean and everything in between, okay? Maybe you did drugs with this person, okay? Maybe, you know, this person may be reminiscing on you or trying to come back in your good graces because you had some kind of trauma bond with this person. Maybe that's how y'all hooked up is through the use of drugs, okay? Um... You know, take what resonates and leave the rest. This may not be every Taurus, okay? Um, a party is significant, okay? Whether it already happened or a party is coming up in Atlanta, you need to expect the unexpected, okay? Expect the unexpected. You may see someone at this party that you're not expecting to see. <laughs> they may just, you know, pop the fuck up. Mm. The truth is, Taurus, you've been pretending not to care about a particular person or situation, but the truth is you care so much. You feel like some type of way about it, okay? There's some unresolved issues there. But the truth of the matter is there's his side, her side, and the truth, all right? And we all know that um, there's some underlining facts here that are getting misconstrued okay there's definitely some spell work energy also going on i don't know if that's you or someone else you may be trying to avoid situations getting worse okay you may be trying to avoid running into this person in atlanta or maybe atlanta may be significant okay you're also getting the jealous as fuck card so, I don't know if this is you jealous of someone, or you may feel like someone's jealous of you. Um, we'll see. Let's pull another deck. Taurus, we're at nine minutes. Mm. It's time for you to face off, okay? And when, when I made this card, I literally thought of the scene where, in the movie Face Off, where Nicolas Cage is dressed like the priest and all the nuns, where is he at the airport? And he's like coming down like this. <laughs> oh, what, you know what they say, Taurus, um, some of the uh, most scandalous and thoughtish type activity always comes from the preacher's daughter, okay? I don't know, that's a sink for somebody. <clears throat> I don't know if that's true or not, you know? I highly doubt it's true for everyone, but 
you know, what they say, Taurus. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of activity regarding fraud that's that, that's getting put on blast, okay? The truth of the matter is, you maybe have tried to compare yourself to this person, maybe even your ex, but the reality is the vibrations don't match here, okay? The vibrations don't match. And you know this, Taurus. Mm-hmm. A sneaky link may have occurred, or you may be wanting to sneakily link with this person, okay? Clarify by the shush card. You're keeping it on the low, okay? There's something significant about a particular circumstance that happened. You got the, the time, the day, stood still card coming out. So it's like a trigger for you whenever this memory happens. It's, it's like... It's ingrained in your brain, whatever this memory is, Taurus. And every time you think of it, um, it bothers you. But the truth of the matter is, whoever this is involving, you want to make things right with this person. 11-11, okay? As I say that. Because you're realizing now that you possibly held this person accountable for something that really had nothing to do with them, Okay? The truth of the matter is your issue was never with this third party individual. The real issue was with your ex, okay? And now this person has you looking messy because you tried to gaslight them, okay? Or vice versa. Take whichever side of this you're on, Taurus. Let's go ahead and um see what else we can pull for you. You may be reflecting on past decisions, okay? With the self-reflection card coming out, you may be accepting things for what they are, okay? You can't change the past, Taurus. You can only learn from it, okay? And from what these cards are looking like, there may be still are some things you need to learn, okay? Possibly why there's some kind of situation going on regarding court and a baby, okay? You may want to ask the divine for a sign, okay, whether that's God, Ra, you know, source, however you address the most high, okay, Mother Gaia. Mm. Health may also be an issue, Taurus. I hope that you didn't sleep with this ex. Perhaps if you already did, that could be why you have an STD, okay? You may think you got it from someone else. You got it from your ex, okay? This person, him or her, is got something that they're never going to get rid of, okay? Ever, okay? It's damaged goods, Taurus. You know, there's someone here in the dynamic that um maybe spoke out of turn in regards to a situation and there is a retaliation happening in the in the divine realms okay you may be coming to the realization that someone's ancestors are very very powerful and they don't play okay divine revelation mm -hmm. and you're realizing now that all of this happened for a divine purpose it was bigger than you know just you or this other person or whoever else was involved. It was bigger than all of that, okay? And that's part of the growing process, Taurus. Realizing that we're not just here for us, right? Mm, this may involve family with the Ten of Pentacles coming out. Legacy, future. You may be petitioned by the Holy Spirit to... Take the time to do the inner and outer work, Taurus, okay? You also may be using discernment, okay, in regards to releasing yourself from whatever this past hurt or pain was, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles, you're in your own energy. You're looking back at how possibly your mommy daddy your, your mommy daddy issues or the mommy daddy issues of whoever this other person is that you're dealing with has affected the relationship has how it has affected you personally okay mm. 
I'm also hearing DNC. So someone here either got an abortion, is planning to get an abortion, or maybe feeling some type of way about um, being asked to get one. Mm. You feel like you can't move, literally, okay? Um, you want to make action or movement towards something, but you feel like you're stuck in your particular situation, okay? Um, which may be a victory to someone else, okay? You could possibly be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo, But good news is coming, okay? You may be comforted by this good news. You may be comforted by a friend that may be feeling lighthearted and wanting to help you get your mind off of things, okay? Taurus, let's see what other messages we have, okay? Someone may be protecting you from the divine realms, okay? You're getting the high priestess energy, okay? This could also be you um, reaching some kind of divine success, okay? You could be trying to manifest something or call in something to yourself. Or you may have gotten some revelation through a vision. Mm -hmm. In regards to work. Some kind of knowledge that was given to you regarding work, okay? Mm. I'm also getting something in regards to an attorney. Okay, there's definitely strong legal energy going on here in this reading, Taurus. Okay. Someone may have tried to oppress you, possibly this Leo energy. And um, if you, whatever you're worried about, it's going to iron out soon, Taurus, because um, I'm hearing somebody didn't, somebody didn't read the fine print. Mm -hmm. And because they didn't read the fine print, it's causing a fucking tower. <laughs> oh, don't you love those towers, Taurus? I freaking love those towers. God. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, which is Mars energy, the tower. God. You may be making the decision moving forward that um, you may want to just own up to the role you played in something. Okay, someone definitely, like, you may have been involved in something unbeknownst to you, or maybe you did know about it, but you're going to be getting the, the divine revelation, possibly through a vision, a dream, or some kind of sign, okay, from your spirit guides, that this is a ball you don't want to fumble. And whatever this is, it's going to be a sign for you to stay away from this person, okay? Some kind of karmic energy from your past, okay? Because it was an X card that this is clarifying. This is someone you've already been with. This is not someone new. Yeah. Your karmic X tried to set you up, okay? They betrayed you. Possibly during some kind of gathering in Atlanta, okay? Or something that happened in Atlanta, all right? And the NSA has record of this. Remember, they document everybody's shit. Every email, every phone conversation. They've been recording since 2008, I believe. Possibly a little bit before then. Um, every text message. It's all in a database sitting in Canada. Taurus, if you, if you didn't know that, you might want to look that up. All right, so whatever <clears throat> you may be projecting as the truth, they have evidence. 
that it's bullshit. Or maybe this is the cross watcher. Maybe this person is claiming they have evidence on you about something and there's proof somewhere sitting on a server that they're full of shit. Okay, Taurus? Now, I don't know what this court case is about. It could possibly be about a baby. Um, it looks like it possibly could be about child support or paternity or something along those lines, Taurus. But um, whatever the situation is, it could be rectified. Just trust your spirit guides and know that whatever this is about, it can be resolved, okay? Nothing... Um, Mm. Taurus, a relative is getting karma for betraying you. A relative is getting karma for betraying you. So someone who's literally related to you, Taurus, I don't know who that would be. Mm. Instant karma, instant karma for betraying you. Okay, and now they want your forgiveness. Whoa. I'm hearing it could be a cousin. It could be a parent. Mommy, daddy issues. Top tier alchemy. I don't know what you transmuted, Taurus. Okay, possibly through the use of the higher realms. Whatever you manifested. Mm. It's, it's bringing this person down a couple notches with ego death, okay? Dude. Which was wish fulfillment for you. Wish fulfillment. I'm getting... <laughs> uh, you know what they say, Taurus. You put God's love in a bottle and you have Jesus, right? So what happens when you put God's love in a box? You may have, um, Tried to sabotage someone, Taurus. This is after dark, so it's I'm catering to both light and dark Tauruses, okay? So please take only what resonates, but the ones who are low vibrational know this message is about them. Okay? You try to um start some shit with someone that you had a chip on your shoulder about. And that shit backfired like a motherfucker. Let me tell you why. Because they got it on tape, Taurus. There's a Taurus out there who knows what I'm talking about. The real reason you sabotage this person is because you know they're better than you. Okay? Mm. And you're running away from real healing by the use of alcohol and excessive drug abuse. If you're wondering why it didn't work out, it's possibly because of those reasons. Okay? Things that we did in our 20s ain't such a good look in our 30s and 40s and beyond, Taurus. It's time to grow up. I'm also getting that possibly you were trying to do some kind of uh, energy manipulation on someone in regards to their natal chart. But it backfired. You want to know why? Because this person has a hidden natal chart. They're telling people their chart is one thing when it's really not that. Message for somebody. Mm -hmm. You possibly tried to make someone jealous about something, but they're not even paying attention, Taurus. I'm sorry. You know, the truth of the matter is, this realization may actually piss you off. Now, for my high vibing Tauruses, just know.
They hack their way into prison. They hack their way into prison. If you've been hooking up with an ex, they have it on tape. If you have been trying to hide some kind of situation that went down at a party, possibly a threesome, a foursome, or an orgy type situation, a swinger party, they have it on tape. The whole house was tapped. Mm-hmm. And, um, it doesn't matter how long ago it happened, it's on tape. It's on the internet right now. Enjoy the rabbit hole.